And welcome to Nina Aquila, Legal Eagle, a, a game using RPG Maker in the assets, I believe, by Ethan Fox, and a game which, as soon as I saw the name, I knew that I was contractually obligated to play this game on my channel, because it fits my brand, you know? It fits my brand of anime law and other good games. Uh, hello? Nina! Where are you? I'm... Uh... Miller Defense and Law Offices. November 5th, 9.12 a.m. Why aren't you at the courthouse? Forgotten what day it is? Just give me a sec, would you? <clears throat> Start the office! Last thing, remember, last thing I remember is reviewing the case file. Guess I fell asleep. <clears throat> Never mind that. Get down here right now. I can't what this defendant. I can't mother you as well. All the times to fall asleep. Better get to the courthouse. Alright, let's do this. Oh, nice. It's getting very anime already. Oh. Not to see here. I'm going to steal your desk. Oh, that's the... Oh! That's the office. Time for food. I need to get to the courthouse. There's a sofa in the kitchen for some reason. Time to take a shower. I need to get to the courthouse. Alright, courthouse, let's go. What? What? Ah, uh, not even enough time to take a shower. Oh, shit. Anime opening. Ina Akula. Legal Eagle. Oh shit. Oh, I like that guy already. Oh, I like that guy already more. <laughs> yeah. Objection. I thought how this works. Shut up, objection. No, no. Is that, is that the law office? Case one, first flight. Oh my god, that, that was a, that was quirky, but uh, oddly adorable blending of real assets and obvious sprite stuff. That was cute. District Courthouse, Defendant Lobby C, November 5th, 9.24 a.m. Miss Akula! Supervisor was here. She seemed really mad. Nina! I'm gonna hide. Yeah, she kinda scares me. I'm gonna just hide in the darkness here. Yeah? Anya, I got here as, quick, as quickly as I could. We were supposed to be here an hour ago. I've had to arrange transportation for the defendant and... Did you come via the gym or something? I ran here! Right after you woke me up in the office. Is everything okay? Everything's fine. Nina's a real pro under pressure. Aren't you? <laughs> of course. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> in any case, we'd best get to the courtroom. Meryl, the bailiff will come to collect you shortly. Just hang on for a couple more minutes. Nina, one last thing. Attorney ID card, hey! Burn this. Finally, my own defense attorney ID. 
You nervous? A little, I guess. I'll be there to help you out. This maybe wasn't the best start to your last supervised trial, but just remember... One of the brightest young lawyers I've ever supervised. Uh, really? What? You can say nice things. Just walk in, sit at your bench, and stay focused on your client's innocence. I get going. I'll join you at the bench. Oh, hey. Mr. Courthouse, courtroom B, November 5th, 9.32 a.m. We get to, we get to make our entrance through the, entrance through the crowd. Saikanya like said, all I've got to do is head to my bench. Should we pass the galley, then on the left. Can we, can we get entrance music? Can we get walkout music, please? Can I talk to people? Can I get in the prosecutor's bench? Can I... Get, can I go sit on the jury? I am the judge now. Yeah. Court recorder. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. I'm hiding in the rafters. I'm Sting. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, time to get serious. You know, what are you doing up there? You're out of bounds. Get under your bench. Da 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 da. That guy got walkout music. Who's the new guy? Prosecutor? That's Chad Hawk. Thud. They say he's a real prodigy. But a stickler for procedure. Don't get nervous. Rise for the Honorable Judge Tawny. Ah, all the bird theme. Eh? Look familiar. Oh, please be seated. Oh, that's who you are. We are, here, we are here today in observance of the case of Meryl Tidville. Tidville, eh? Eh, uh, okay. Not a bird fun. Uh, not a bird fun, as far as I can tell. Prosecutor Hawk, are you prepared for the case? As always, Your Honor. As always, Your Honor. Nina, no. Miss Ocula? Uh, seriously. <laughs> I, I've known him for less than a minute, and he already sounds like a complete under- Miss Ocula! Uh, uh, yes, Your Honor. Psst, what I tell you about staying focused? Now that I have your attention, I trust you have crafted a reasonable attempt at a defense. Ready, if that's what you mean. Very well. Mr. Hawk, please state the prosecution's case. Of course, Your Honor. Emergency services were called to the Green Acre Camping Grounds in the early hours of November 1st. A fire had broken out in the facility's main building, which spread to some of the smaller buildings. Meryl Tidville was arrested, leaving the scene. The prosecution asserts that she started the fire to facilitate insurance fraud. And we intend to establish her motive for this wit through witness testimony. He seems pretty confident. He talks a good fight. Let's find out let's find out if he's got the chops. <clears throat> Order Thank you, Mr. Hawk. Hey, let's please bring in the defendant. Defendant, can you please confirm your name and occupation? Eh? Why is she wearing that costume? Damn if I know. If a certain someone had gotten here earlier, they might have been able to fix that. So. Miss Tidville? Meryl t t t t Speak up! Meryl Tidville, Your Honor! So you do have a voice. Well, at least she got her name right. Perform secretarial work at the camping ground and assist with event planning. Which is why you were there on the evening in question. Ordinarily, yes, but that night I was actually there for a party. Oh, so I was on a date. What's that? 
I was on a date! I see. A report says you were arrested after the building caught fire. Hours after the party ended. How were you still on the site at the time? I... Um... I had to close up the site. When I spotted the fire, I ran to get help. And that's when you were arrested. Yes, Your Honor. Very well. Well, Tidville, you stand accused of arson. How do you plead? N n not, 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 I mean... <sighs> not guilty! Miss Tidville, the court recognizes your plea. Prosecution, bring forth your first witness. Here we go. Oh, that's a... That's less, less a defendant's stand and more of a defendant's jail. In the, in the naughty kid's pen. Huh? I have done this before, but as this is your last supervised trial, I'll fill you in one last time on how all this works. Hog's about to bring in a witness who will give a statement. Listen to it. Try to focus on the little details. Looking for an inconsistency, a flaw of some kind, which shows the witness is either, either lying or just mistaken. Don't worry about memorizing the statement, though. You will be able to recap it afterwards. Look for inconsistencies. Got it. Witness, please confirm your name and occupation. Jackie Marsden, Your Honor. I work as a graphic designer for Rookery. Rookery? The corporation? Yes, ma'am. Please, tell us how you, how you came to be involved in the incident. Okay. Testimony time. Witness statement. I saw Meryl leaving the campgrounds after the party, while the building was on fire. If I'm honest, Meryl's always been a bit of an oddball. As far as I could see, no one else was there. She must have started the fire. Why else would she be running around late at night dressed as a fire mage? Uh. Very well, Miss Akula. You may begin your cross-examination. Okay, Nina. Let's get this show on the road. Boom. All right. Oh, now we get the music. Now we get on to the main event. Cross-examination. All right. Do you want me to remind you how this works? Or are you good to go? I... I... um... Had we cross-examined again? I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. This examination is where we do our stuff. In a moment, you'll be able to review the witness's statement from before. It's split up into segments to be easier to work with. For each part of the statement, you can do several things. You can continue to move on to the next statement. Go back to the previous statement. Okay, if you can continue after the last, you goes back to the start, don't worry about that. You can press the witness for a, bit for a bit more information about the segment. You should probably start by doing this for every segment. Sound logic. Also, open menu to save the state of the game, so you can resume from there later. You should try to save frequently. Save the state of the what now? Moving on. I think you brushed over something quite important there. Moving on! Also review and present evidence. We don't have any evidence right now. We'll come back to that later. So you're good to go. Let's go. Oh what? Oh shit. Alright. That's how this works. That's nifty. Hold it. <laughs> Are you sure it was her? It was dark after all. <laughs> really, Akula? There's a building and fire nearby. There's more than enough light. I suppose he has the point. Yes, I'm quite certain. Also... Hold it. It's argumentative. <laughs> An oddball? Yeah, she's a bit weird. A stretch, though, to say she'd burn down a building. Which just means that she's a bit of a non-conformist ocula. Yes, yes, there she is. The anarchist right there. Like I said, a bit weird. She totally fits the part. Hold it! How could you be certain? The campgrounds only had one exit, and I was there. Anyone else would have had to pass would have to have would have to have passed me. Hold it! That's pure conjecture. It's her opinion. Hmm. The court recognizes that this is purely the witness's opinion. But there's one more thing. Alright. Hold it! 
she was arrested in the morning, on November 1st. Well, it was the early hours, around 3 a.m. It's important, Miss Acula. Sure, why not? Yes, I believe it's important. I agree. Witness, can you please add this to your statement? Officer Flatfoot. Hold it! Jack, you don't like Meryl very much, do you? Oh shit, I think there was I think there was a voice clip there. Maybe the voice clips are saved for the important plot progressing points. Instead of just the average pressing. Jack, you don't like Meryl very much, do you? Objection. What is his likes and dislikes? We're not on trial here. Sustained. Miss Acula, please try to stay on topic. Connor, please, humor me for a moment. Jack, you've made it very clear that you find Meryl's costume to be strange. It is strange. Really? I don't think it's strange at all. Eh, Miss Acula, I warn you not to waste this court's time. Is this important? Yeah. It's of vital importance, Your Honor. Defense asserts that Meryl's unusual outfit might seem strange at first glance. Except on one night of the year, where it would be considered normal. Halloween! Ah! The witness was arrested on November 1st! Ah! She was arrested at 3 a.m. after attending a Halloween party. Ah! Oh. Order! Order! Your Honor, I assert that Mel's attire was wholly appropriate on the night she was arrested. I see. Yes, I believe your logic is sound, Miss Acula. And the witness's testimony seems to fixate on Meryl's costume. The defense moves that this testimony be considered unreliable. But she did start the fire! Where's your proof? She's a freak! A pyromaniac! She really seems to hate Meryl for some reason. Best make a note of that. Daki hates Meryl. Witness. We'll cease your outbursts immediately. Mr. Hawk, do you have anything to add this time? No, uh, no, ahem. Prosecution moves to call its next witness. Very well, bring in your next witness. Prosecution calls Detective Randall Flatfoot to the stand. Hello again, Randy. How's your wife and little Ryan? They're both fine, Your Honor. Ah, though Ryan is teething. Orange. I, lo I love your hair. What? Um. Oh, poor thing. In truth, I haven't, I haven't had much sleep for a few weeks. What's happening? Ahem. Your Honor, if I may. Oh, 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 yes, of course. Apologies. How did you become involved in this, Detective? Well, it was something of a coincidence. I actually live very live very near Greenacre Camping Grounds, and so I saw the light from the fire, from a distance. I didn't see what was going on. In the process, I bumped into Jackie Marston and the defendant, mid-confrontation. When I walked up, Jackie was accusing Meryl of setting fire to something. Sure enough, Meryl was carrying some fire lighting equipment. Oh! That fire lighting equipment sounds important. I should make a note of that. I arrested her on the spot. And how, may I ask, was the victim's demeanor when you did that? Whoa, 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 hang on there. Objection. Your Honor, I find it in poor taste to microanalyze the client's conduct while she was being arrested. I agree, Your Honor. You do? He does? <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution has not charged the witness with resisting arrest. It would be inappropriate of us to consider her actions during the arrest as evidence. Quite right, quite right. This exchange shall be stricken from the records. Yes, please. Fucking cops and judges. The fucking worst. Carry on, Detective Flatfoot. Yes, Your Honor. For convenience, I was placed in charge of the police investigation into the fire. What did you find? Firstly, I can confirm that Merrill Tidville is indeed an employee of Greenacre Camping, Gra Greenacre Camping Grounds. She has worked for them for a number of years and is considered an exceptional employee. Alright. We also looked at the webpage for the campsite, and Merrill is visible in two photographs on the site. This one from last year. 
This one from the party on the evening in question. Ah. Mail picture A. Mail picture B. To view those pictures again, and do so later when we cross-examine. Already I can see an important difference between them. Also, we found something else. I can already guess what he's going to say here. Green Acre, ca Green Acre Camping Grounds was circling bankruptcy. Being clear, this is speculation, but an intentional fire to defraud an insurer would be one way out of that situation. <clears throat> of course, we have no conclusive proof of that at present. Get that last part, Detective. The last... Oh, right. Detailed forensic analysis will take a few weeks. You can already be sure that the fire was deliberate. It's not a gas leak, electrical fault, or lightning strike. Thank you, Detective. Very succinct. Are you prepared to make a formal statement? Ready and willing, Your Honor. I came over to the I came over to the site after seeing the signs of a fire from the from a distance. When I arrived, Jackie and Merrill were arguing. The main building and some of the smaller buildings were already ablaze. Merrill was carrying some campground stuff, including fire lighting equipment. I can't think of another reason why she'd have it other than to start a fire. Hmm. That also seems rather weak. But fair. Very well, Miss Ocula. You may begin your cross-examination. Must be another reason she'd have that equipment. Ah, well done with that last witness. Pressing them for more information did the trick. This time, though, I think we're going to need to present some evidence. Ah! I mean, I think it's pretty obvious. Alright. Open menu. Save. Alright, let's review our evidence. Jackie hates Meryl. Stern. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. There's last year. We don't know who Travis is, but... This year, Meryl is coupled with, coupled with Travis. Yeah, I wonder what could be the cause of Jackie hating Meryl. Fire lighting equipment. <laughs> this is very technical. It's a giant briefcase with a fire, the flame on it. Legal identification. Yeah. This individual is hereby declared a legal eagle. Hold it! Just happened to be passing by. Oh, is that my health? The, boar, the f blue balls? It's near my home. There's also a cop bar nearby that, that I frequent. Look at these amazing chicken wings. Uh, stay on target, detective. Yes, sir. I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to ask him later about those chicken wings. Very important testimony. Hold it! What are they arguing about? In truth, I'm not sure. They stopped talking as I approached. Hold it! Bad, was it? Pretty bad. We were upwind, though, so it seems safe. I called the fire department right away. They turned up quickly. Hold it! Uh, stuff? General campsite stuff. Tent pegs, a mallet, a bag of collected trash. You know, stuff. Hold it! Perhaps she found it just before she met you. Objection. Specialized fire lighting equipment, Akula. No one would leave it just lying around. Got an answer for everything, don't you, Chad? <laughs> Still, he's right, I guess. Huh? Be another reason why she was carrying that equipment. Hmm. Check your evidence. See if we have something that gives her a reason. Okay, so simply enough. The goal. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. That's right, we continue. And evidence.
Objection. Objection. Detective, do you carry a firearm? Yes, I do. A department standard issued 225-er. Do you consider that a dangerous object? Objection. Honor, the witness has a legal right to carry a firearm. Is compelled to do so by his profession. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. What? What's your point, Ocula? In some situations, a person carrying a firearm would be considered dangerous. However, we trust the detective here, because he's in a profession where he makes use of firearms. Skip to the end, Mr. Ocula. Gladly, Your Honor. The client is a long-serving employee of a camping ground, a place that traditionally permits campfires. In fact, you can see her tending to a fire in this very photograph. The defense attorney's right. It does look like her in the photo. Of course she'd like fires. I need the stove on! Order. Order in the court. Mr. Hawk, can you offer an explanation for this inconsistency? Ah, uh, uh, I didn't think that. No, Your Honor. Your Honor, at the, defense, at the detective's testimony, it was based around it being strange for Merrill to be carrying that equipment. The defense moves that this test won't be considered superfluous to the case. Hmm. I'm obliged to agree, Miss Ocula. I see no alternative but to ask you to relinquish the stand. Poor Chad's over there going, My, my testimonies, they're gone. They're slipping through my hands. Randy. Always a pleasure, Judge Tawny. Always a pleasure. I'm imagining things are... Not from the judge. No, you're not imagining things. Apparently, he was a bit of a heartbreaker in his day. What's that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, nothing important. Get out of here. I trust you have another witness, Mr. Hawk. I do. Let's keep this moving. Bring in your third witness. Witness, please confirm your name and occupation. Travis. Travis Bright, lead singer and frontman of Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyraka, uh, I assume that it, to be some sort of musical group. You don't get out much, do you, Tawny? You don't listen to crap. <gasps> Talk about taking no prisoners. Guilty of producing shit music. You got directions to the nearest burn ward. <laughs> now, Mr. Bright, I would have you refer to me as your honor. What's that? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Still can't argue with results. I made bright. Your friend Meryl was arrested. So in her case... I understand, but why are you still wearing that ridiculous outfit? Uh-oh, this? It's what I was wearing when I was at, when I was at the scene. That was customary to wear the same clothes for the hearing. Customary, customary where? Cloud Cuckoo Land? Uh, fine, with that established, can you explain how you came to be involved in this incident? Of course. Well, Jackie and I have known each other since grade school. The Green Acre Halloween party has become a bit of a tradition. This is our fifth time attending. We dressed as characters for our favorite video game when we were kids, Dragon Fantasy V. Hmm. I always thought Dragon Fantasy IV was the better one. They lost their charm when the series went 3D. Eh... Uh, I always preferred seven. Ah, casuals. Clearly three is superior. <laughs> Carry on, Mr. Bright. Early the evening, I met up with Jackie for a quick smoke for the party. Jackie smokes? Not that much. I guess you'd call us social smokers. They should kill me for bringing that up. He doesn't like people to know. I tend to vape. Of course you do. <laughs> so you met up with her before the party. Yep, good for her, too. She didn't have a light. She had to borrow my lighter. In fact, she hasn't given it back yet. Uh-oh. There's a promo item from my band's latest tour. It has our logo stamped on the inside. Hmm. Let's make a note of that. All right. Mr. Bright, please just proceed to giving us... to giving your formal statement to the court. Fine, fine. Bro. It's the fifth time the three of us have attended the Green Acre Halloween party. Jackie, Merrill, and I have just been friends since grade school. But anyway, at midnight, Merrill had to move off to start cleaning up the site. Part of her job. I'd go for another smoke with Jackie while we waited for her. But I couldn't find Jackie anywhere. 
And I lost track of Meryl, too. In the end, I just left. I got home around 1 a.m. Very well, Miss Akula. Let me begin your cross-examination. Seems quite cavalier about his relationship with Meryl and Jackie. It's probably where I should start. Press away. I feel like time's moving exceptionally fast in there, so I feel like we haven't been playing this for a whole hour. Hold it! Like it that much? Sure do. Open Tyrakosaurus. Tyrakosaurus can headline the event next year. He likes the event. End of story. Hawk, there's being expedient. There's just being rude. Hold it! How did you meet? Well, it's a long story involving homework, a pineapple, and a huge badger. Is this really relevant? Suppose not. I'm talking about the badger, Hawk. I want to hear about the badger. Badger. Hold it. You didn't ask if she needed help? Of course I did. Not a complete jerk, you know. She insisted something about how she wasn't allowed to let the party attendees into the site storage units. Does it make sense? It's private property, after all. Uh, hold it! A, uh, social smoke. Something like that, yeah. Uh, hold it! You lost track of them. Campground's dark. Plus they're like trees and stuff. It's quite a big place. Hmm, suppose that's fair. It must be nine after all. Uh, hold it! You just left without seeing your friends? I didn't look for them for about 20 minutes. Well, the party was over. We all live in different directions anyway. He's not right about the way he refers to Jackie and Meryl. Do I have any evidence which gives a better idea of their relationship? Suppose... The deal here is... Objection! Objection. This photo, tells a, this photo tells a different story, Mr. Bright. Fine, fine. Jackie and I dated last year for a few weeks. It didn't work out. You never told me that! Why didn't you- Bennett, please restrain yourself. Carry on, Mr. Bright. Lately, Meryl and I had started to grow a bit closer. And Jackie was fine with this? I mean, she never said she had a problem. Just how dense is this guy? Anyway, when it got late, around 11 p.m., Meryl and I crept off for some alone time. I didn't see Jackie after that. I see. Your Honor, the defense requests that this information be added to his testimony. Very well. It is please add this to your statement. Hold it. You sure about that? Never said anything. She could be pretty assertive when she wants to be. Why, did she say something? Did she? I'll need to think about it. Objection. You may not be aware of it, Mr. Bright, but Jackie hates Meryl. Uh, seriously? <laughs> yes, yes, yes! Uh. Whoa. Bruh. Be that as it may. Ms. Akula, is further discussion in this area good use of the court's time? He has left the scene long before the event. I'm unsure if he can offer any more... Insight. I don't like it, but I can't see any other line of questioning. Not every witness is going to be helpful. Still, maybe he gave us more than we realize. Doubt it. Concur, Your Honor. We can move on.
Hmm. I mean, I think it's starting to fall into place now, don't you think? I mean... Hmm. Your Honor? Yes, Miss Haw Mr. Hawk? While that short diversion into the love lives of these three people was informative, none of that changed the facts of this case. Mr. Bright's testimony ends just after midnight. <coughs> Well, that still leaves Mayor Tidfield near the building with fire lighting equipment and a proposed motive for the crime. I didn't start the fire. It was always burning since the world's been turning. Please listen to me. You never do such an awful thing. <clears throat> Miss Tidfield, please control yourself. You better think of something, Nina, and fast. Looks right. Bright Steel was no help at all. Now who's the dense one? Trust in your client's innocence. It, he, he gave... He, seriously, he gave us a fuck ton. He gave Jackie his lighter. Jackie hates Meryl. Jackie disappeared. Meryl disappeared with an obvious reason for her disappearing. Meryl's innocent, then Hawk's case is just a theory constructed to fit the facts. The way to beat him is to come up with a better theory. Think. The theory... Do we really know? Mr. Bright was with Meryl, but she broke off just to clean up after to clean up just after midnight. Bright then went home about twenty minutes later. Then in the next three hours, someone started a fire. Mr. Bright had gone home, but Meryl and Jackie were still at the camping grounds. Wait, could it be? No, there's nothing else. Yes, there's something else. Yes, Your Honor. I think we missed something very important here. Mr. Hawk? Mm-hmm. Clearly my client is guilty because she was present at the scene. Yes. Had a motive to start the fire? Yes. Wait. What's your point, Acula? Perhaps you didn't look perhaps you didn't look closely enough at your own witnesses. What? Ah. Uh. <coughs> order! Order the court! Miss Akila, are you seriously suggesting that someone else could be responsible for the fire? I am, yes. I don't believe Meryl started the fire. I believe it was Jackie. Jackie Marsden, the witness. <laughs> I don't actually know if it was a game over or penalty for getting shit wrong, but still. If I may, Your Honor. Jackie was present at the scene. Oh, wait. Jackie's whereabouts between midnight and 3 a.m. are unknown. Wait! It's obvious Jackie hates Meryl Tidfill. Wanted to sabotage her date with Travis. Wait! Hi, I'm back now. I won't stand by while you say such mean-spirited things. What sort of person do you think I am? Your Honor. Yes? I want to testify again. Objection! Judge Tony, I must protest. You forget yourself, Mr. Hawk. The rules in this scenario are quite clear. This may testify if she wishes to do so. Yes, ma'am. Them's the rules, Chad. How dare you accuse me of wrong wrongdoing? Waited at the entrance to the campground for hours. Well, that was short. Statements made under emotional stress usually are. Very well. Ms. Akula, you may begin your cross-examination. Okay, Nina, time to dock this one out of the park. All right. Oh, Jackie, we've been friends for years. Why are you doing this? Your Honor. Miss Tidfield, please remain quiet during cross-examination. Just hang on, Meryl. We'll straighten this out. Jackie, there's something which has been bothering me about all this. Why were you there? What? The party was over at midnight, according to Travis. Objection. What is this not on trial? There could be many reasons why she would wait around. <clears throat> For three hours? 
That just means Meryl had plenty of time to set the building on fire. She's clearly guilty. She was rooting around the main building for ages before I caught her. Eh. Eh. Drill down far enough, you always hit pay dirt. I think you just drilled into the real Jackie Marston. <laughs> Witness! Are you suggesting you saw my client inside the building before the fire? You didn't. You wouldn't. So what if I did? Situated by the exit for the camping ground for ages. Why then, did you get, did you check if your friend was okay once the fire started? You did it. Because you were jealous? You started the fire while I was inside. Pfft. Don't be ridiculous. After all, you were the only one with fire lighting equipment. How would I have started a fire? She's right, unless... Wait... Did she have a way to start the fire? Yeah! It's Akira. I'm gonna need you to present proof that Miss Marston could have started the fire. Jackie, you did have a source of ignition with you. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You got it from Travis Bright earlier that evening. Take that! And you instructed him not to tell anyone about it. No. no. Judging from your reaction, I'm willing to bet. But you still have it right now in this very room. Can't possibly. I mean... Sorry. Wrong, 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 Miss Akula. We'll see about that. Detective Flatfoot. Yes, Your Honor? We'll submit the paperwork later. Or must stop and search this woman immediately. Oh, no. I'm using your authority. Mr. Hawk, do it. Do it. <laughs> hey, stop! Is he struggling, Miss Marston? I will hold you in contempt of court. Well, this is... Well? <laughs> Just a few items, Your Honor. A set of keys, smartphone, one lighter, which appears to bear some sort of design. Don't keep us in suspense. What's the design? Sorry. I don't have my glasses with me. Mr. Hawk, don't just stand there. Oh. As you wish, Your Honor. It's like a dinosaur and a guitar. Tyrannosaurus Rex! I... But... Ugh. Ugh. Miss Martin? Is she okay? Wow, she actually fainted. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to enter a statement into the record in light of recent events. Go ahead. Prosecutor's, prosecutor's office has taken Jackie Marston into custody. Plan to charge her with arson, intent to murder, very least reckless endangerment. Thank you, Mr. Hawk. We'll have to wait for, the tri for that trial to truly close this matter. However... Zaculus' defense has made one thing quite clear. The prosecution's case against Meryl Tidville does not stand up to scrutiny. Therefore... Brawl. On the sole charge of arson, pronounce the defendant... Not guilty. Hey! 11.14 a.m. Well done. How do you feel? Like... Like I'm about to throw up. Good. What? That's just the adrenaline. Be fine in an hour. You'd be so upbeat. You came within an inch of losing. Now Tidville could have gone to jail over a false accusation. You want to know a secret, Nina? It's something they don't tell you in law school? Yes. It's always like this. More often than not, a case will go right down to the wire. But you have to just keep pushing, keep up the pressure. The faith in your client's innocence, even when no one else does. That's what you did today. That's why I think you're going to be a great defense attorney. Oh, thanks, Anya. Really amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. 
Now put on your best smile. I think I hear Meryl just outside. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thanks so much! To tell the truth, I got real worried a few times during the trial. But you were incredible. You lost your cool, even for a second. Like a swan, believe me. My job is didful. I'm a defense attorney. Don't be so modest, Miss Acula. You are a bona fide legal eagle! She really is. Gotta admit, I kinda like the sound of that. Babe, you're here! Oh, Travis. I should probably give them a moment. Not in your life. I wanna see how this goes. My old babe, I'm so happy you're okay. I was gonna celebrate. We had a gig later so we can, we can fit it around. Why did you tell me that you and Jackie dated last year? I. I mean, if she had a problem, I thought she would just be out and say. You should have at least mentioned it to her. Hey. And stop calling me that! Uh oh. Travis, I'm going for a celebratory drink with Nina and Anya. We are? Looks like it. What am I supposed to do? Girl, you can start by apologizing to Jackie. Uh. I mean, okay, it was your... Yeah. I screwed this up, huh? Yeah, I get kind of did. I mean... <laughs> yeah. Bruh. Uh, no, Travis, you didn't. Not really. Jackie did. When she chose to set fire to, the, to that building. Yeah, that's true. Still, you seem like a decent guy. Go talk to her. You'll feel better afterwards, I'm sure. Cool, cool, I'm out. Laters. I'm sorry you two had to see that. That's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. Awkward. So, drinks? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's not even lunchtime. Eh, it's quitting time somewhere, right? Let's get some mimosas. Go sign yourself out, Meryl. We'll meet you up front. We did well today, Nina. Even after the rocky start. To lighten up. Good attorney learns from their defeats. Great attorney also makes time to celebrate their victories. Each case is a fresh start, with a new client and a new chance to help someone who needs it. Sometimes, maybe just a couple of times in your career, it's a chance to put right something that's gone wrong. Remember that, okay? I'll see you outside. The rest of the day, I'm, if I'm, the rest of the day, if I'm honest, is a bit of a blur. However... My best to burn Anya's advice into my memory. Celebrate the good. Celebrate the good. Learn from the bad. Part of me felt like it'd be important someday. Oh, what is happening here? Hello, Jackie Marston, from the Clink. That's gonna cost you extra, but hey, I can take care of her. What's your timetable? What? Yeah, within two weeks, no problem. She won't have time to blab. What? Another one. Who? Fence attorney. No. Never mind why, that's my business. And plus, the paper says she's a bit of a rising star. Too rich for my blood. Too high profile. Anya Miller. Supervisor. Yeah, it could be arranged. Think of poison. What's that? You want her alive? Mm, I see. Oh. That's concerning. It'll be difficult, sure. But I like a challenge. To be continued. Next time on Nina Akula Legal Eagle. Oh shit! Shoot out at the OK Corral. That foot? I didn't do it. You need to stop running, Anya. Oh no, I didn't shoot her! I didn't! I believe you! Half the department's combing the docks for you. You have to let me take you in. 
Drop the gun on ya. Gun dropped. On your Miller, I'm placing you under arrest. Oh. I am not wearing this. Come on, Nina. It's in your contract. With a direct of viewer segment at the end of each episode, or, or case. I don't care. I'm not wearing a leotard. Oh. What it's like for. Oh. No, no. Uh, God. God. Uh, what? What does that even mean? Like, I, I do. Gun, 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 bust, gun, buster. What? Great. Don't forget the ears and the tail. And what now? We're gonna have to censor this. The ears I get, but what were the wings about? Ocular channel. Hello. Uh, <laughs> oh. Welcome to Ocular Channel, a special viewer-facing segment where we talk to you, the viewer player. I feel ridiculous. I'm a lawyer, not a croupier, eh? Hush, Nina. In this segment, normally we'll talk about the legal ideas and pop culture references from each episode. Oh, okay, I can talk about legal stuff. Okay, so... Uh, hold up, Nina. This episode, we have a much more important thing to talk about. If you say so. So this was just the first case of Nina Ocula, Legal Eagle, and was really just a tutorial. If you're here, that means you've just played it. Are you doing that thing with your mouth? If you enjoyed it and want to go on to the next case, you can find out more on the itch.io page. Check it out. Nina's, Nina's adventures are just starting. This was just the first step. Though we don't exactly have the best sets. And our props are all hand-me-downs. And I think there's a stay on this bunny girl outfit. Okay, okay, enough about that. So if you enjoyed this game, we just want to ask one favor. Tell people. We already have ambitious plans for a number of cases, each of which will be much bigger than this one. Features will include... Exploring crime scenes. Speaking to witnesses. Mini games. A city overworld. Ooh. And me. What? Who are you? Oh, you're the guy, you're the tired guy, or oh, I liked the intro. Who's he? We'll talk later. So if you like this first taste of Nina Akula, Eagle, Legal Eagle, we like to, f we like to call our fans Nailers. We do not like that. Anyway, if you want to, if you like what you've seen, tell your friends. And see you soon in Nina Akula, Legal Eagle, Case 2. Broken Wings! Hey. Anya, hey. We still get paid, right? Because I have to wear these ears again. Shh, wait till we're clear. What kind of actor are you? <laughs> okay, that was a... That was a cute little bonus segment at the end of the case, but... Yeah. If you like this game, tell your friends. Yeah. Do it. Be a nailer. I will put the links to the itch... Uh, to the itch... Pay, itch IO pages in the description of this video. And obviously, in terms of telling my friends, well, I'm telling all of you about this game, so I think that counts. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. In terms of the case. Yeah, that... <laughs> after, after the first few testimonies we just fucking tossed out outright, made me wonder a bit uh, how did Chad expect to put a legible case together like that, but... And then it came together to an, into a nice little puzzle there, of sorts. Made sense. Unraveled drama between friends. Left us with a little stinger. Where, uh... Our, uh, Jealous arsonist friend, uh, Jackie, might be targeted in prison. Well, Anya, too, might be targeted. But not Nina, strangely enough. So I wonder who could be, wonder who could be behind that. I suppose we'll find out more as the world of Nina Ocula, Legal Eagle, grows and develops. Case 2 is out. That's actually how I discovered this this series. Case 2 was in the, uh, the bundle. Uh... 
big bundle recently, the bundle for racist, racial justice and equality, which has raised got amazingly over its goal. So really fantastically well done there. Yeah, I first I first saw that with uh, chapter two. That bundle. So I had to go back and tackle this first. Be introduced to the world and the characters. What can I say? That was charming. That was fun. It helps, it helps that I'm also playing, except at the time, so I'm a bit more willing to have fun. That was fun. It's interesting to see. I'll be interested to see what happens going forward with this. We'll definitely be playing Case 2. And then, Case 3 is in development right now, as far as I know, so we'll be keeping an eye on that. For now, until we return, or Nina Ocula, till then.